Attention, attention. My son would cry for no reason. He cries for everything. He just screams at the top of his lungs. No matter what. I leave the room for a split second and she's <laughs> I'd do everything. I'd change the diaper, I'd feed him. <laughs> I'd rock him, I'd hold him. Attention. It's difficult in the beginning. You're so tired, you just like, you wanna tell your baby, please, can you just stop crying? I just need a break. <laughs> If he's crying or something, and my baby dad's there or something, I'm like, I'll take, can you hold him real quick, just for a minute, and I'll just walk away. When it's very, when it just gets that hard, I pass it to her mom, because her mom knows what's going on. I've actually had to put her down a couple times and just walk away and leave her in the crib for a couple minutes and take some deep breaths. And when I'm babysitting, if they're crying, I, I breathe. I'll leave the room or step away like 10 feet. Kind of get my patients back and just breathe, and then try again. Count to 10. So I just put her in the bed with her binky on one side. And if he doesn't quit screaming, I'll lay him down. And a little rattle. Put him in his room if I can't handle it. And I just lay down in the bed, and she, she just cried herself to sleep. Money. Money. Money is a big thing. Car situation, not having a car. I'm trying to find a job is very stressful. Breaking down, having to fix this. My husband being in Iraq and me not working. No money, no job. Money. Money stresses me out big time. Especially with having a child. He's expensive. <laughs> she goes through diapers just like, like it's nothing. Everything I buy for him is expensive. Snap, snap, and they're gone. Two weeks and it's a whole pack of diapers gone. Oh my god, oh my god. My body locks up tight. I actually am very physically impacted by stress. Everything flexes. My stomach a lot of times will feel upset. My arms don't move. When my daughter is, you know, getting me kind of worked up, I get hot. They're stuck like this. Impatient a little bit. Sometimes I just sit there and cry when I'm holding them, you know. Like, whatever, man, ain't nobody here. Ain't nobody here help me. Try to feed her, change her diaper, hold her. The check and see if his diaper needs to be changed or um, something's poking him. Experience. Experience. Try to figure out what was wrong with her. Experience. I know that she's been changed, she's been fed, she's had a nap, she's just crying. So sometimes I just have to let her cry. Babies cry and you can't stop them from crying. The biggest thing for me is to do something for myself, have me time. Like taking a bath and you know, all the candles, aromatherapy candles. and I write raps, you know what I mean, to get it out of my head on paper. You really just need to sometimes let the house get messy. It's my own little time by myself. Sleep. My little 10 minutes. Get lots of sleep. My space, me space. Sleep when he sleeps. Get on the phone, talk to someone. Help, I need help because it's my first, my first baby and everything, so yeah. For me, I definitely had to let my daughter's dad try things on his own, and you know, he does do it a little different than me, but that's okay. Shaken baby syndrome is when a parent or person watching the child gets so frustrated with the child crying that they shake the baby to make them stop. When you're stressed out, you've got to just let them cry. So instead of shaking them, getting frustrated, just put them down and walk away and let them cry. And just walk, walk away, go just do something. Set your baby down if you need to. I just set them down. Like, I don't even want to deal with you right now. I don't even want to get mad at you because it's not even your fault, you know? I would put the baby in a safe place and I will call the parent. It's part of being a parent. You will get frustrated. You will need to put the baby down. You should not feel guilty about it at all. Have a plan and 
to write down phone numbers and tell them, you know, here are some phone numbers if you need somebody to take the baby if you get frustrated. Before the parents leave, they give me their cell phone number. Um, I actually had a friend that was I was visiting her and she was very agitated and the baby was crying and crying and she went and grabbed her baby and started to shake her baby and I went and grabbed the baby and I said, you know what, you need to calm down, go for a walk, I have, I have the baby. What keeps me from taking that step of shaking my baby, most of all is thinking about what my baby's mom would do to me, you know? You know, I know what could happen if you should your daughter, something bad can happen. Death, even death. It's you, you know, that's you. You see the joy in your baby's eyes that you bring to your baby, you know, it, it helps you out a lot. What makes a good parent is someone who cares and loves their kids, that really cares about them and to do anything for them, you know, and that tells their kids that they love them, Thank you. you know and lets them know and show that they love them. Kind of just calm down and take it easy because things are gonna get better. It might be rough at first for new fathers and new mothers, but it's gonna get easier. Have a plan. Put the baby down. Take a break. Talk to someone or go for a walk. When in doubt, call your doctor and remind yourself that you're a good parent. The important thing is just to have a plan. A plan that will change as your baby changes. A plan that you share with everyone who cares for your baby. Never shake a baby. Keep your child safe. Have a plan. <laughs>